don't get me wrong. What? I live out of Old Testament and New Testament. Uh -huh. You read not the, the Old Testament. Yeah. But Jesus came in New Testament that he didn't come to the trouble of Old Testament. Ah, so and, let's get that. No, 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 no. Let's get no, 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 no. Let's get the New Testament yeah. for you. And did he say the greatest commandment? Ah, what is the greatest commandment? What is that? No, love the Lord thy God okay. and love thy neighbor as okay. thyself. So let's explain that. Let's, 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 let's explain that. Get, What we're going over is nationality according to the Bible. If I were to ask any of you all today, what's your nationality is? Go from, from left to right. What's your nationality, sister? You just hear What's your nationality, sister? I don't know. What's your nationality, sister? Right here. What's your, you know, black? What's your nationality, brother? African American? What about you? African American. Do you see the confusion within our people? Yeah. You see the confusion? But when you know the word of God, we, we know we are the tribe of Judah. We but, know we the right, but we know. But what we're but, doing, but you're being technical, so a lot of people are going to understand what you're saying. It's not really technical. It's reality. What we live in today. Mm -hmm. Our people identify themselves as African American and as Black. And um, a few years back, it was Negro. Years before that, it was colored, right? Afro American. We were named after a hairstyle. Get Isaiah one and three, real quick. Isaiah chapter one, verse three. Listen up, y'all. The ox knoweth his owner. The Most High God is saying that the ox. The ox is, a, is an animal, right? It's a dumb animal. He says the ox know who his owner is, right? Read. And the ass, his master's crib. He says the donkey, a jackass, knows where his homeland is, his master's crib is. Read. But Israel. But who? But Israel. He says, but the Israelites does not what? Doth not know. Our people don't know, and what else? My people doth not consider. Our people even don't even care that they're calling themselves African-American. They name themselves after a color. They don't care that there's nothing but confusion. Get that in Daniel 9, confusion the face. Right, so what we're out here to do now is show our people the truth, who you really are, so that you can start coming back to your God, coming back to your true heritage, your true nationality, so that what? You can eventually now take your rightful place on this earth here. What do you think you were created to do? Why were you placed on this earth, black man? To be prophet. Prosperous? What about you, sis? Jesus came to serve. So I'm here to serve. You came to serve who, though? You came to serve Jesus. But did you come here to serve these other nations? No. Were you created to serve these other nations? No. So why are we serving these other nations now? How you doing, sis? What's your name, sis? I love you. Shirley. 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 How you doing, Shirley? You're a lot. And you probably want to know, a lot of what we do is not evil. You see, lack of knowledge, people care. Right, and that's if the you thing. Don't, if you don't know something, you, you're so, ignorant. And that's why we are here. Like you said, what you said is biblical, right? Our people perish for lack of knowledge. What you think about that is, when you don't want to be enlightened, you can't give it to them. It's exactly. Like the of the Christ yeah. says, my yeah. sheep hear my voice. Read right. that. Right. Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. Bring it up. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So God says that his people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. A lack of knowledge. Read. Because thou hast rejected my it rejected knowledge because we rejected knowledge the knowledge of god what happens i will also reject thee read that thou shalt be no priest to me so the reason why we are actually we were created to serve god we were not created to, to serve on these slave ships here or to serve any other nation the most High god created the so-called black hispanics and native americans specifically to be his chosen people and to govern this earth get that in leviticus 25. the last verse and that's what we have to, we're coming out here to give the knowledge to our people so that we can start doing the things that are necessary in order for us to take this planet back the way we were rightfully ordained to. But what this said is heavy. We were created to serve God, not man. Read that. Leviticus chapter 25, verse 55. Go ahead. For unto me 
the children of Israel are servants. It says unto the Most High God, the children of Israel are servants. Read. They are my servants. They are my servants. Read. Whom I brought forth out of the land of Egypt. Who he brought forth out of the land of Egypt. So them people that the Most High God brought forth out of Egypt, they are the children of Israel, and they are the ones ordained to be his servants. But what happened to us then? Why have we fallen? Is the question. Get through Deuteronomy 28. We made a covenant with the Most High God. We told the Most High God, whatever you command us to do, we will do it. We said, Most High, if you, if you set us on high above all nations, we will, we will keep your laws. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But Moses in the wilderness told him this, though. Read. But it shall come to pass. Uh-huh. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If we don't listen to the voice of the Most High God, though, read. To observe, to do all his commandments. To observe, to do his commandments. The Bible said our people perish or are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, right? What is that knowledge that we fell from? Get the knowledge. What, what is the knowledge that we that we are destroyed from now? What is that? To serve him and be prosperous. How do we serve God though? With all our heart, all our mind. Yeah. In spirit and in truth, right? Let's see what the knowledge is. Malachi chapter 2, verse 7. Go ahead. Where the priest lips should keep knowledge. It says, My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. The priest lips, the teachers of the Most High's word, should keep the knowledge, right? Read. And they should seek the law. The what? The law. The what? The law. At his mouth. They should seek the laws of God out of that priest's mouth. So what is that knowledge? What is the law though? We're gonna get it to you. But what is that knowledge? The knowledge that the people serve him. Then what is that? Read it again. Read it again. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. So it said the priest lips should keep knowledge, read. And they should seek the law at his mouth. So what is that knowledge that our people lack? That we're supposed to be getting from the priest? What is that? Read it again. Read it again. For the priest's lips. Should keep knowledge. Should keep knowledge, read. And they should seek the law. Seek the law. The law. Read. At his mouth. At the priest's mouth. So what is that knowledge that our people are destroyed from? Knowledge of God. Read it again. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. It said the priest's lips should keep knowledge. So right, he's going to tell you what the knowledge is, read. And they should seek the law. They should seek the law. At his mouth. At the priest's mouth. What is the law? Right. What you mean with the laws? The laws of God. The laws of God. Okay. Right? So that's why people are destroyed because we went away from God's laws. Get that in Deuteronomy 28, 15. Now watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Go ahead. But it go? shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. To do what? To observe, to do all his commandments. All of his commandments, read. And his statutes. And his statutes. Which I command thee this day. And he commands thee this day. So if we go away from God's laws, statutes, and commandments, what's going to happen? Read. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. All these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now, you mentioned that we're serving other people. We're only created to serve God. We read that in Leviticus 25, right? right. Let me show you what the curses get for 43. Don't get me wrong. Go ahead. I live out of Old Testament and New Testament. Uh -huh. You read not the, the Old Testament. Yeah. But Jesus came in New Testament that, that he didn't come to the front of the Old Testament. Ah, so let's get that. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Let's get let's deal with the New Testament, Testament for you. No, and did he say the greatest commandment? Ah, what is the greatest commandment? What is that? No, love the Lord thy God okay. and love thy neighbor as okay. thyself. So let's explain that. Okay, let's, 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 so, let's, let's, let's explain that. Let's explain it. No, 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 let me explain it. No, no. Let's explain it with the Bible. Can you let the Bible speak? This is our setting okay. to teach our people. I, I understand. Right? Okay. I understand. Go ahead. God called me to serve. God called me to teach his people. Uh, no, no, no. This is this is our platform okay. now. Okay. Right? So our, our job is to actually teach the people. What Your job is, is to learn. Because okay. we're dealing with the Bible, right? Okay. So get Matthew 5. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, we're not we're not go we're not go beefing. Go we're gonna get the scripture so we can give our people the right information, right? Because did Christ destroy the law saying you no longer have to keep God's laws? He said he didn't come to the Okay, now read that. Matthew, chapter... So, so what law did he fulfill? Did he fulfill the law of murder to the point where we have, we can murder now? Did he fulfill the law of rape so now our men can go out and rape women? Did he fulfill the law of stealing so now we can steal? So what law did Christ fulfill? 
Exactly. Let's read now. Read. Matthew chapter 5, verse 17. Go ahead. Think not that I have come to destroy the law. That's the problem. Our people think that Christ came to do away with the Old Testament laws that Moses said that we went away from. He said, read it again. Matthew chapter 5, verse 17. Think not that I have come to destroy the law. But Christ said, don't even think that I come to destroy the laws of the Bible. Read. Or the prophets. Or the, or the words written in the prophets. Where, what testament do we find the prophets at? We find it in the Old Testament. That's all Christ taught. That's all the disciples taught. So Christ didn't come to destroy the Old Testament. But when we come out and read the Old Testament, we get people to say, well, you see, you're reading from that Old Testament. Christ said, I didn't come to destroy that. So read it again. Think not that I have come to destroy the law. So don't think that Christ came so now we don't have to read the Old Testament or do what's written in the Old Testament. Read. Or the prophets. Or the prophets. Isaiah, Jeremiah, King David was a prophet. He wrote the book of a lot of Psalms, Proverbs, all that. Read. I am not come to destroy, uh -huh. but to fulfill. Ah, that fulfill. What did Christ fulfill now? Get that in Luke 24. And you got you got a precept in your Bible? Uh, yes, sir. So what did Christ fulfill? Read that. Let's see what Christ came to. Did he come to fulfill the laws of God? Meaning we can now murder, steal, we can eat whatever we want to eat? Or did he come to fulfill this here? Read. Luke chapter 24, 24, verse 44. Go ahead. And he said unto them, These are the words which I spake unto you. He said, These are the words which I spake unto you. Read. While I was yet with you. While I was yet with you. That's Christ speaking to his disciples and all of his followers. Read. That all things must be fulfilled. Uh huh. Which were written in the law of Moses. Which were written. So all things must be fulfilled which were written in the law of Moses. Read. And in the prophets. And in the prophets. Read. And in the Psalms. And in the Psalms. Con read. Concerning me. Concerning Jesus Christ. So what things were written about Christ in the prophets? Get Isaiah 53 real quick. 53 verse 10. This is what Christ came to fulfill that were written in the prophets, right? Isaiah 53, verse 10. Isaiah chapter 53, verse 10. Go ahead. Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. It pleased the Lord to bruise him. Bruise who? Christ, Most High sent his son Christ down to do what? To die for the sins of his people. Right. Right, so it said it pleased the Lord to bruise him, read. He has put him to grief. He has put him to grief. Christ will put the grief. Christ didn't commit no sin though. But Christ will put the grief free. When thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin. When thou shalt make his soul a what? An offering for sin. What do we know Christ as? The ultimate sacrifice, right? When thou shalt make his soul a what? An offering for sin. An offering for sin. Now get the fulfillment in Acts now. What did Christ come to fulfill? Christ came, what you're going to find out is Christ didn't come. When he said Christ came to fulfill the law, he came to fulfill the law of animal sacrifice to where we no longer have to sacrifice anymore. Can I ask you some questions? In Hebrews 10. Okay, Hebrews 10. Verse 1. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 1. This is what Jesus Christ came to fulfill. This is what law Christ came to fulfill. Read. For the law having a shadow of good things to come. It says, for the law having a shadow of good things to come. Read. And not the very image of the things. And not the very image of the things. Read. Can never with those sacrifices. With those what? With those sacrifices. And can never with those sacrifices. Read. Which they offered year by year. Which they offered year by year. Do what? Continually. Make the corner, make the comers thereunto perfect. Make the comers thereunto perfect. So Christ fulfilled the law of animal sacrifice. He did not fulfill the law of stealing, killing, robbing, murdering, all those different things. Christ didn't fulfill that. Right. Christ didn't give anyone a license to be out here and do as thou wilt and come as you are and remain in sin. Get that in Leviticus 15, I mean, um, Sirach chapter 15, verse 21. Bring it out. Our people think that because Christ came, we have a license to sin now. Okay, Christ came, so now I can remain a whoremonger. Well, I can remain a murderer and I'll make it into the kingdom of heaven because Christ died for me to be this way. Christ didn't die for you to be this way. Sirach chapter 15 verse 21. Sirach chapter 15 verse 20. Go ahead. He hath commanded no man to do wickedly. It says the most high God didn't command no man to do wickedly. Guess what else is wicked? Homosexuality is wicked. That just is what it is. The Most High God gave nobody, he commanded no one to do wickedly. How you doing today, bro? How you doing? Let me ask you a question, bro, real quick. What's your nationality, bro? Huh? What's your nationality? 
African American. African American. What we're showing our people is our people are not African Americans. Africa was named after Leo Scipio Africanus, a so-called white man. America was named after Amerigo Vespucci. There's no way in the world the people that were brought over here on slave ships can, I, can be identified with those same people that conquered them and destroyed them. Read that. Sirach chapter 15, verse 20. Go ahead. He has commanded no man to do wickedly. So Christ didn't command no man to do wickedly, read. Neither hath he given any man license to sin. The Most High God didn't give anyone license to sin. He didn't give anyone license to break his laws, statutes, and commandments. Get sin real quick. 1 John 3, verse 4. 1 John 3, verse 4. Then we'll get to your question. First John chapter 3 verse 4 So Christ didn't give any man license to sin Didn't give any man license to steal Didn't give any man license to rob Didn't give any man license to murder Didn't give any man license to do that thing So why are we walking around acting like that is a good thing And Christ is going to love you and forgive you And the reason why I'm this way is because Christ made me like this No, Christ commands us to change our lives if you live that life of sin, you change and stop committing sin. What? Christ told the woman that was that was going to be condemned of adultery, what? Go and sin no, no more. more. Meaning go and commit adultery no more. What? That's the words out of Christ's mouth. So why do people think that living that life is going to get them salvation? Only salvation comes from repentance and changing your life. Read that again. John, chapter, first John chapter 3, verse 4. Go ahead. Whoso committeth sin. Whosoever committed sin. Now he's going to explain what sin is. Read. Transgresseth also the law. You're in transgression of God's laws that our people ignorantly, ignorantly say are done away with. And they say that you cannot keep. How is it impossible to, to not keep God's laws when Moses says don't kill? You don't have to kill anyone. Read. For sin is the transgression of the law. Sin is the transgression of God's laws, statutes, and commandments. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.